Sam, we don't have time for this. No cell reception. If anything happens, we're on our own. Declan could be here already. I should be careful. Finally pull yourself out of your days long enough to join me. I was worried about you. It's fine. I'm okay now. We have to get this done. That's true. So I guess this could be all of this madness coming to a close, right? Hopefully in the good way. Maybe we can bring Nick and Dennis some justice. I'm ready to see it end. This would be a lot worse if I didn't have someone else here with me. Sam, we can get all sappy once this is all over. Now we need those files. I can't find them anywhere. Did Dickie say where the dead drop was? He didn't. We'll have to keep looking for it. Did you already go through that side? I've been looking everywhere. So far, all I've found is a lot of gum under tables. Declan could be here any minute. Let's hurry it up. Found it. You did? Let me see. With this? We'll be able to put Declan behind bars and clear your name. Come on. Hold it there, boss. Whoa. Declan. Now, you two just relax. We're here for the same reason. Now, all you have to do is give me what you found in that there lockbox. You... How could you look everyone in the eye and lie to them? You went to his wake? You drank with his friends? Yeah. It was harder than you think. So what happens, once you have the stick? Hmm. Still thinking about that. You plan to kill us, like Nick? Don't start thinking I enjoyed doing it. It just had to be done. It was just the same as with that drunk fool, Dennis. All I wanted was to see how much he knew and get him to keep his mouth shut. Turns out he knew more than he should have. It doesn't have to end the same way this time. There's always another option. It almost sounds like you wising up some, Higgs. Doesn't look like you're willing to take the same fall from two years ago. Fuck that common good shit, right? You always seem to care about this town. Its history, its people. Why do this? I care more about this town than anyone. I've spent my whole life protecting it. Everybody's happy to shake my hand and say how grateful they are. As soon as you turn around, they'll stab you in the back. Eventually, I realize that's how people are. The only thing left is to adapt. Help keep a lid on things. And if someone's got a profit, might as well be me. Nick and Dennis, that part wasn't supposed to happen. But here we are. And I'm done leaving behind loose ends. You asshole! I have to 
think and move fast. Stay one step ahead of Declan. If I make even a single mistake, there are no second chances this time. He murdered Nick, he murdered Dennis, and he'll murder us. If I can predict his next moves, we might be able to get the upper hand. Who he is will tell me what he'll do. I could try going for his gun. I could grab his gun, but that would only work if Anna keeps Declan occupied. Get off! Get down! Anna! Declan can't see me. I have to use this to my advantage. I should strike him on his blind side and use the element of surprise. But that'll only work if I can predict what he'll do next. Think, Sam. Anna's been shot. I need to help her, and fast. No more mistakes, Sam. Declan might continue going after Anna. Declan might go for his gun. Declan might attack me now. If Declan heads this way, I should wait here and ambush him. Hard, me. Your boyfriend's smarter than he looks. Now give me that. No! If I don't do something, we're dead. But if I do the wrong thing... I have to stay focused. Account for all the elements at play here. Anna's been shot again. She might not make it. I need to take out Declan now. I could try calling for help. I could get behind cover. Going for the phone would bring Declan's focus onto me. But if the phone gets damaged, I might not be able to use it later. coming to help you. No, no, no. 
Anna, can you hear me? I need you to stay with me. I need you to... This is one funeral I can't avoid. Sam, you got a moment? I hope you know you've got my honest sympathies. If there's anything the Basswood Police Department can do for you, or even just little old me, you give me a holler, all right? For now, I wanted to tell you, we found Declan's fingerprints on Dennis's gun. Dickie's statement also corroborates your testimony. No charges are going to be filed against you. It's clear self-defense. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring. Here. I'm gonna make sure that what happened to Nick is big news. I know you will, sweetie. Just keep something in mind. I think God put an angel and a devil in each of us when we were born. We spend our whole lives watching them fight it out. And most days, that little angel comes out on top. But we all have times when it's the devil who's in charge. There's no devil or angel to blame. Declan became a dirty cop and you didn't see it. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Anyway, I guess I've kept you long enough. I'll let you go now. Look after yourself, Sam. Though I guess you always do, huh? You can tell a lot about people just by paying attention. I'm paying attention now. I wouldn't have made it without you. Never thought Declan could fall so low. Can people change that much?
He looks so lost. It's been a rough week. Yes, it has. Maybe the roughest I have ever seen. And I've lived almost twice as long as you. There'll be better weeks than this. It'll pass. I know, I know. Time heals all. It's hard to find any truth to it right now. So many people I love are gone. It leaves a pallor on the world. I'm not sure where I'll go from here. What about you? Did you have time to consider... what comes next? I'm not planning to stay in town. Nothing for me here anymore. Hard to blame you. I might leave as well, if I'm being honest. Time to hang up my saddle. Any idea where you'd go? None. But I have money saved for retirement. I could waste it traveling with my mother. See the world. Live life instead of writing about it. And you might think about doing the same. Life is short and fleeting, like the sunset. If you pay attention, it can be beautiful. If you don't, it's gone before you even know it happened. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Make sure to look after yourself, Samuel. You were just an unlucky bystander. Hey, Ethan. Sam? I'm, uh, not sure what to say. I know you and Anna were close. I I'm sorry about what happened. I appreciate that. Hey. Oh, you're never gonna apologize for breaking in, huh? What an asshole. But I guess you have other things to worry about. It's been a hell of a week. So, you, uh... Holding up all right? I can't change what happened. I'm trying to take things one day at a time. Well, sounds like you're on the right path. Well, listen, uh, next time you're at the Haven, let me buy you a beer, all right? I'll probably take you up on that. I don't think talking is going to make either of us feel any better. Things will get better, I promise. I hope so. I just... I wish I hadn't given Anna such a hard time before. She didn't want to be a stepmother and... Well, I didn't want to be a stepdaughter. Now... I don't know. I'll never know if it could have been okay. I shouldn't have told you about my dad. If you hadn't, Declan would still be hurting people. That's true. <laughs> it just... If I hadn't said anything, this wouldn't have happened to Anna. But I was so mad about my dad. So mad that I couldn't even cry. Well, I couldn't until now. Until I finally knew what happened. 
and that makes me feel selfish. Like all of this happened because of me. Come here. So, it's not my fault? It isn't anyone's fault. No one alive, at least. I still feel bad. I know. But it's not your fault. Sam. Of course, she just walks off. I don't know how to reach that girl. It was hard before, but now she's completely shut me out. It's not surprising, given what happened. This town is no place for a teenager. Kathy, now is the time to get out of Basswood. You don't understand. It's not that easy to leave. You've always managed to get Joan to talk to you. Any advice? Kathy, when did you start taking opioids? What? What does that have to do with... What do you think happens if someone finds out and reports you? You could lose your job. How dare you? You don't know anything about what I've been through. I don't, but it doesn't change the facts. You need to get help. Oh, and who's gonna look after Joan in the meantime? Who'll pay for the treatment, huh? Don't you have family in the region? Well, I... There is my sister down in Virginia, but I... But you're not on good terms. Joan told me. Still, you don't have a choice if you intend to keep custody of her. You've always been a cold-hearted asshole. You know that? Do her a favor and forget about us for good this time. I'll finish your article, I promise. I'll leave them to it. Not the type of situation I can help with anyways. Sam, we really have to stop meeting like this. Did you change your hair? You seem different. Joe, I'm... I'm you sorry. You promised. You promised you'd keep her safe. I knew she was in danger. Your poker face has always been crap, but I trusted you. Thought you'd keep her safe. Thought you cared for her, but you didn't. She's dead, and I'm still here. No one could have stopped Anna from doing the right thing. I should have at least tried. Sam, you're the only one who might know the pain I'm going through. For what it's worth, I'm here for you. 
it ain't worth nothing. Anna, Anna was, she was, words. You spend your whole life devoted to them, yet they fail you when you need them most. I miss her, I miss her, and, uh, and I don't think I have anything else. I think you managed to give voice to the feelings of many of us here. Do you mind if I speak a little? I didn't know her as well as most of you. Of course, of course. Anyone can speak if they want to. I only knew Anna for a few years. But within that short time, she impressed me with her strength. She understood what really mattered wasn't herself, but something greater. The community around her, her friends, her loved ones. She was a true defender of the common good. The kind of person who's always looking after whoever is standing next to her. She was fearless. You only needed to look her in the eyes for a few seconds. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. 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 Don't, don't, don't understand. understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? No, no, get out the way, out the way. Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? Messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? Your barroom brawl. I did my best, best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? You met he Hugh? took over the old he pharmacy the old just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. Honestly, I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. Like your friend. Common good. Common good. Common good. Common good. Compromising was never her way. She was ready to pay the ultimate price if it meant getting the truth out. Because Basswood meant more to her than her own life. We will honor her memory by keeping what she fought for. This community together. 
It's the least she deserves. There's drugs in them hills. That would have been Nick's title for this article. He would have started with a self-deprecating tirade about how he couldn't resist the joke. It would have been a good opening. He never wrote that article. It would have been about greed, drugs, and lies. Nick was found dead on the side of the road. It was called an accident. It wasn't. Now let me tell you a story about the men who murdered him and about the truth he died for. Well, folks, I hope you've got your seatbelts on because we got one nasty story coming up. Two years ago, West Virginia, a small mining town loses its mind. Income plummets, unemployment skyrockets. The stage is set for an unscrupulous pharmacist to roll into town. Two years later, over one million pills were shipped to the small West Virginia town of Basswood. Many sold right here on our streets. <laughs> the article by journalist Samuel Higgs goes on. Information brought to light in this article led to the investigation of Hugh Kirkland, a seemingly respectable senior who turned out to be the mastermind behind this pill mill scheme. The Basswood Police Department is now under investigation. <sighs> How the small town of Basswood can recover from such a blow is anyone's guess. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. Still hard to believe a man I trusted was running a drug ring here. You and the Basswood police have a lot to answer for. A lot. We do. Declan pulled the wool over all of our eyes. All I can say is, we're all just people. Ain't no such thing as the Basswood police. Just people entrusted with power. And Declan, as terrible as it seems he was, was not always a bad person. My sin is failing to see the man he became, rather than the one he once was. You were his commanding officer. You're the only one who could have stopped him. You're entitled to your opinion. Everyone is. No, I do my best. Well, I'd love to stay, but I'm afraid duty calls. Look after yourself, Sam. Though I guess you always do, huh? So... So... I wasn't sure you'd show up at all. I meant to get here before, but... You look better? <laughs> better than last week, I guess, but that's setting a low bar. It could have been even worse if you hadn't... You know, you saved my life. I'm also the reason you were in danger. Except you aren't. Dickie would have still broken into my house. It's true. I really wish we'd gotten what was in those files. The guy who was behind it all broke his neck trying to kill us. Case closed. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess. 
you guess. You're alive. Let it go and enjoy having lived. I am. I am enjoying it. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> so what are you going to do next with your unshot and healthy body? Step number one, find a job. Preferably a writing gig. Walter's probably hiring. It's complicated. You should talk to him. I should go. I had a feeling you would say that. You stay out of trouble, Sam Higgs. And maybe don't wait so long to darken my doorstep again. I guess we'll just have to see, won't we? Mr. Higgs, not surprised to see you here. I'm a little surprised to see you. I'm just giving my well wishes to Miss Miller. You did the right thing rooting out that ruffian. The town is better for it. Thanks. I'm not used to people saying things like that. <laughs> you may have to get used to it. What you did helped everyone. Really boast of the common good. Be proud. Common good. I've heard that before. Common good. Common good. Common good. Common, common, good, common, shit. Common, that, that, common that. good shit, right? Good shit, right? Good shit, right? I know what she'll say. Calm down. Think of the common good. You don't, you don't understand. understand. It's not that easy to leave. Kathy, could she be the supplier? Get out the way! Something's missing. How did Declan know I was meeting Dennis? You messed up Dennis pretty good last night. Go check on Joan. Who overheard me and Dennis talking? Who told Declan? After your barroom brawl, I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside. Have you met Hugh? He took over the old pharmacy just after you left. Nick suspected a drug ring flourished after the mine closed. Honestly, honestly, I'm afraid you'd end up like your friend. Common good. Common good. Common good. Young man, is everything all right? I was lost in thought, and I've been lost in thought a lot lately. Oh, yes, yes. I'm sure you have a lot to think about. Nick never put it together. He was too close. 
It was you. What exactly are you trying to say? It wasn't enough to be a pill mill like every other two-bit pharmacy. You've been skimming. Extra boxes lost, records forged, ending up with Declan. Nah. That is a very serious accusation. The kind that, without proof, would never hold up. The court of public opinion doesn't need documentation or a trail of evidence. Three people are dead. Their trails all lead back to you. You seem to have me confused for a criminal mastermind. I'm just a small town businessman. I go where there's opportunity. And I've helped this town. I've created jobs. I've invested. I never forced anyone to do anything. I've only given people what they wanted, what they needed. I was here. I rolled up my sleeves and I got to work. Where were you? It doesn't bother you, does it? The things you've done? I'm not asking for you to explain. I just wanted you to know. I wanted to look you in the eye before I brought your whole world down. Joe, Kathy, Joan. Don't you threaten them. I would never, but you do. Why do you think Nick never wrote his article? Never went to the police? Just say whatever lies you think will save you. Very well, if you insist. A little girl's future and a girlfriend with an aging father both cost money. People always find ways to get what they want. The question is who profits? Criminals, mobsters, lowlifes? Take out the middleman and a worse one slides in. Nick understood as much. He wasn't like that. You didn't know him. Did you? He was going to bury the story. Nick is dead. What he did or didn't do at the end doesn't make a difference now. That's true. What Nick did is irrelevant. What matters is what you'll be doing. If you drop this misguided effort to accuse a kindly old man of heinous acts, I promise Kathy, Joe, and Joan will want for nothing. However, if you follow through with this foolishness, I only doubt I'd spend even a single day behind bars. I'm old. I have money and lawyers, and when I speak, people listen. But what of Nick? Who took bribes, buried the truth? What will his daughter think? When I have no choice but to reveal he is just another dirty reporter. And let's not forget poor Kathy, who worked directly for me. It would at least cost her her job. Isn't being a single parent hard enough? Don't throw their lives away, Sam. Learn from your mistakes. Fine. I'll keep your dirty little secret. Just know, I'll be keeping tabs on you. If I ever hear Kathy, Joan, or Joe want for anything. Never. Kathy will get a raise, college for Joan, and Joe won't miss another medical payment ever again. As long as you keep your word, I will care for them like I do for this town. Don't you worry. Don't you worry at all. This is Carrie James at 104.3 WVCK, the Basswood Sound. Heard the news today? Fresh details emerged about the opioid scandal in Basswood. Chief Bess Mitchell is with us today to explain the situation. Chief Mitchell, what can you tell us? 
Well, it's a real barrel of snakes, Carrie. The deaths of the basswood jungle employees is an unforgivable tragedy. It was the work of a single corrupt officer. We believe Officer Declan was trying to cover up his connection to the local drug trade. With this bad element removed, I assure you we have everything under control. I want to let everyone in Basswood know it won't be long before we have this drug problem wrapped up. Wish I could say this was a new story around here, but it's a cycle we've seen time and time again around these parts. All right, time to kick up your feet on the dashboard. We've got a bit of easy listening coming up. Sam, where the hell are you? Someone paid off my dad's medical bills. Was that you? Where did you even get that kind of money? This is too much. You can't... Look, call me back. Swan boats. Days of change. 